up, YouTube world? We're the Beard of Vapors. I'm Vape Wonder. Vape and Chipmunk. Ginger, ginger Bait Man. I just smacked myself in this, but okay, we're going to keep going. Today, we are going to be building, well, I'm going to be building a side to side shotgun. Something we kind of invented, um, somewhat based off the Infinity. Um, what it is, is, well, Vaping with Chipmunks here is going to show you. It's two coils on each side. They're individual coils, but the lead posts are individual, uh, not individually wrapped twisted together so it makes it one coil but it's built two coils separately into one um it's slightly difficult to put into your addy but to make it it's really not that difficult it's easier to twist them together if you have a drill um but you can do it by hand if you want and enjoy the video <coughs> nice so today I am building Chipmunk a side-to-side, -side, well two, side-to-side -side shotgun barrel coil builds. Um, I'm using Foggy Gnome uh, cotton. Um, that was thankfully donated to us from Aaron Sams over at D20 Vape. And I am doing this on, of course, Chipmunk's mutation. Uh, I'm using needle nose pliers, bent nose pliers, flesh cutters, shears just because they cut through cotton easier. I'm building on three millimeter screwdrivers and I'm using a smaller screwdriver for the screws just because this one's slightly big and I don't want to strip out the, the screw heads. Um, I am building with 24 gauge can thaw, and I'm borrowing Chipmunk's handy dandy screwdriver. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to want to pull out my can thaw. Yeah, that should be enough. Chipmunk's got enough left over to do one, maybe two of the four coils that I need to build. That's ridiculous. I need it for five wraps for the the homage I'm aiming at. Okay, so we're gonna do this with seven wraps today. Make sure you have a good, I would say, one inch lead. It's a lot easier when you have a longer lead. And I'm doing seven wraps today. You can do it with as many wraps as you want. Just make sure every coil has the same amount of wraps. It's three, four, five. Six and seven. <coughs> and that there is one coil. Take my flesh cutters and I'm going to go ahead and chop that. That I can use leftover for a standard coil later with a custom air. Alright, that's one coil. All right, so two screwdrivers put together this way for me because I have these big things that get in the way. All right, so you're gonna take two leads on each side, one on each, one for per coil on each side. Bend the tips. Bend the other two out of the way slightly. That way they don't catch. Put the two bent leads into the screwdriver. Drill, whatever I freaking call it. Make sure that the two coils are over each other. Pull the trigger. Make <coughs> sure you get the coils nice, or not the coils, but the leads nice and screwed tightly. Make sure you're pulling tight. If your leads are not tightened enough, they'll be too wide for 
your lead holes or your post holes in your Addy. Now it might be hard to keep them straight on the first one, but once you hit your second one, they'll tighten out to each other. And pull the trigger. If you twist them opposite ways from each other, the leads, they will come out a little bit better. All right. Now, as you can see, they're not exactly straight, so you'll have to bend them together. And now they are pretty straight. They don't have to be perfectly straight. When you put them in your Addy, they will straighten out a little bit better. Now, most likely, I had a couple mix-ups with the first coil, so I will show you my first coil and have this one the one that I showed you. But, it's one coil, and that's the first one. You got the flush cutters on you? You done with them? Yeah. Now, as you can see, Tips are a little bent, so you're going to want to go ahead and cut to slight size, approximate size. I've just flew clear across the room. Have your leads slightly different lengths, but it makes it easier, especially because it's twisted. Now, to get the atomizer, and I will bring this down here to show you. I'm putting the screwdrivers through the coils the same way, using kind of straighten them out just a little bit. <laughs> so, me being silly, guys, I'm still getting used to my Relu. Um, it has a safety function that lowers the wattage when you have a new coil. So I was trying to run this at 25 watts. That ain't going to work. Now I'm running at 100 watts. And that heats up very nicely, very evenly. I'm not even going to touch it anymore. Other than this, get this away from that positive post. <laughs> That is a very beautiful coil. This runs at a point one. Honestly, one of the best coils I've made of this build, I mean. Um, Chipmunk, I'm actually a little jealous of you now, buddy. Well, so, we're going to chop this, and then we are going to... Coil. Huh? I built your Twisted Norris. You he built my, my Twisted Norris. Norris. I'm building his shotgun, so... I just hit my own computer. So that is very beautiful. Infinity. And now I'm going to cotton it with that fog gnome. This stuff is, we're still getting used to it. Um, we've only been doing it for a little bit, but it is, I mean, tell me you guys, honest opinion, this is your favorite cotton now? Yeah. Ginger, is this your favorite cotton? Oh, hell yeah, it is. Yeah, so we are very proud of this cotton, and it doesn't take much to do it. I'm going to, wherever my shears are, you guys stole my shears. I'm going to cut me about uh, two, two and a half inches. Um, it's a little bit easier if you have about two and a half. Yeah, it's a slight waste, 
but it's nice to have that just little extra little bit. Okay, I'm going to split it in half. Maybe any little flecks that kind of come out. I only need to twist the tip. It's easier if you fill it from both sides going down. I have this nice little really thin piece, super flimsy, so I'm going to fold it over. I found this is a little bit easier. And do a nice little twist. And run that through on one side. That coil is still really hot. And I just put my thumb to it. This is where it's nice to have your bend pliers. Going to feed and grab with the bend pliers. And as you can see, that fog gnome, fog, foggy gnome, I'm sorry guys, slides into the coil like butter. It, I feel like I'm playing with silk right now, in all honesty. It reminds me of Santa Claus's beard when I was a child. Or a really old guy's beard who's just, you know, conditioned it a thousand times over. Uh, Narc. Narc, what level? Uh, I'll get it. For one? Yeah. Fifteen or the thirty? Uh, you don't know what you want for thirty. I don't know. You guys have been up to. No, we're cool. We're up in the shoe videos. We got our own YouTube channel up and everything back. Yeah. And that there is one cotton. And there you have it. I'm still jealous of that damn sleeve, bro. <laughs> I'm going to cut it about uh, three quarter inch. You still want it in in bolt mode? Yeah. Yeah, good. Do three. Not five. Now when I do this, now that I have it cottoned, if I can get my handy dandy screw out from under here, I like to run my screw underneath the coils and push them up just slightly. And I will do this again after, but now you just push your cotton down. Now I will do this again. Open up them airways, and I'm going to push the cotton back. That way I know my airflow is nice and open. Do the same thing here. Dr. Jekyll? No. I still use C4, bro. C4 is not bad, but No, pre-workout. Dude, I took C4 to fucking Afghanistan with me. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Cause C4 makes your skin curl, and on top of the heat. Oh man, that's a bit awful. No, five minutes after downing a C uh, a C4 pre workout drink, your skin starts crawling if you're not getting after. Does it not? <laughs> and once you start working out, the, the crawl goes away. But as soon as you're done, mm -hmm. it's like jump in the shower. It's a little hairy until crawl. you put your fluid on there. This is like, uh, hey, fluid. And now we are going to drip. What is this? That's um reverb by uh, audio fog. This is reverb by audio fog. It's a strawberry chew. It's a strawberry chew. That cotton is already starting to grip that fluid, which is really nice. I, we love this cotton. Prime the coils. It's nice if you prime the coils when you're doing this. 
Not too bad, just I want to reach over, right? Where's your juice? All the way over. Yep, of course. I'm 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 talk here. That's all you're Alright. Since I'm here, I'll feel ten dollars for this bottle. <laughs> it was called angel hair. It is definitely hairy, especially the first little bit that you, you know, you wick it. I'm going to pull this cotton just a little bit out. I pulled this a little tight. It's nice if you leave just a little bit of looseness on top. When you have it loose on top, it grips a little bit better. <laughs> Alrighty. And there's that. It's definitely a little bit of a warmer build. Um, you can do it on mech mods. You can do it on regulated mods. But overall, this is a very good competition build. Um, like I said, this runs. This is at a when you put the cotton in, it's running at a point one nine. Um, but Everybody who really does this knows it's all about surface area. Um, I've gone into competition and I was running like a point two three, but I had a lot of surface area on my coils, so that helped me. I made it to like I think the semifinal or something like that. It was my first time, so I mean I wasn't gonna win. Plus I was gonna get some really good guys. So, yep. Side by side shotgun build. With some nice cotton. Actually, I did not even get any sort of bread taste in our video that we said about this. You get a little bit of a, or not a bread taste, but um, you get a little bit of a cotton taste. I didn't even get any cotton out of that. So, yeah. Enjoy. What's up, you two world? We're the Bearded Vapors. I'm Vape Wonder. Vape and Chipmunk. And Ginger Vape Man. And today we are going to go over our new build. Um, it's called the Side to Side Shotgun. And what it is, is it's two separate coils on each side, so it's four total coils. And one's on top of the other, and the lead posts are actually twisted together so that they both can be the vape. Show them. It's not on this one. <laughs> it's not on mine either. It was mine. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Ah. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper. There we go. Uh, wait, wait, we got to do it all over again. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> oh, that is like the best blooper. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <still> rolling. <laughs> Sounds me. Ginger's paid double for coils because military you have no soul. And military gets free coils. Yep. <laughs> and because I'm so awesome, my coils are free. Why are you recording again? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you recording again? I don't know. Damn it. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> 